Okay, so this time we're going to look at making salts. Okay, this time it's part two, which is if you have a soluble salt and base. Okay, so basically everything in this uh, is soluble, so there's we can't do any filtrations. Okay? So an example of that would be something like um, if you take um, ammonia okay, and you react it with something like hydrochloric acid, okay, the product you make is called ammonium chloride okay all these things are in solution okay so we're going to write this as a symbol equation all right so we can slightly simplify it okay so ammonia which is in solution so we write aq hydrochloric acid which is hcl which going to write as aq and then ammonium chloride is NH4Cl, which is also in solution. Okay, so there's everything here is dissolved, uh, so we can't do any filtration because there's nothing to filter. So we have to use a slightly different technique, right? Uh, which is uses a piece of equipment called a burette, okay, which looks a bit like this. It has a tap on the side, and it's basically a measuring cylinder with a tap on the bottom. Okay. So this thing here is called a, a burette. Okay, and underneath that burette, we're going to have a conical flask. Okay, and you can do this either way around; it doesn't matter. So we're going to have uh, ammonia in here. Okay, and then down the bottom, we're going to have an exactly measured amount of our acid okay so we're going to measure out using uh, what's called a measuring pipette or anything that allows you to carefully measure things in exactly 25.0 centimeters cubed of our hcl solution okay so that goes in the bottom what we've also got to put in there as well though is an indicator Okay, something like phenol phthalene. Okay, and that's in there so we know when we've got our neutralization. So it will be something that changes color very dramatically uh, when the pH hits neutral. Okay, so phenol phthalene is a really good one, it goes from bright pink. To completely colourless, okay, exactly at neutral. Okay, it depends on which way around you do it, but it's a very clear colour change. Pink to new, pink to colourless, or colourless to pink. Okay, so what you're going to then do is drip in your ammonia into your solution. And you keep swirling it around, okay, until you get the point where it's neutralised. Okay, so what you have to then do is record the Volume on burette. Okay, so let's say by this point it's somewhere there. Okay, so we've got this much left in our solution. So we know that we've added that much of our ammonia. Okay, so we can read off the value before and the value after, and we know the volume that we've added into uh, our flask. Okay, now so what we'd have down here is a sample. Of our salt, okay, that's exactly neutralized, so there'll be no ammonia, there'll be no hydrochloric acid because we've exactly neutralized it. So we'll have our ammonium chloride. The only problem is we'd still have our indicator in there. Okay, so the way around that is that you then repeat the whole process okay, but this time with the known volumes. Okay, but very importantly, but no 
indicator. Okay, and then what you'll be left with is a beaker with in your conical flask, okay, you'll be left with a solution of your uh, salts. Okay, this time there's no ammonia because it's all been used up. There's no hydrochloric acid. It's all been used up. You've just got your ammonium chloride. Okay, because uh, we've not used indicator this time, we haven't got to worry about the indicator. What we do have though is uh, a solution, um, and we don't want a solution. We want a nice solid sample of our salts. Okay, so just like in the previous example, okay. You want an evaporating dish, a gauze, a tripod, some heat. Okay, we're going to take our sample from there, pour it into here. Okay, so what we have in there is our what will be um, our ammonium chloride. Solution. Okay, so we heat that up. Okay, that's going to evaporate off all the water. Okay, and then what we'll be left with is okay, a nice solid sample. Ammonium chloride. Okay, so just to uh, review the process there, then, so a base that's soluble, an acid that's soluble, and a salt that's soluble. Okay, so we can't do any filtration. Okay, we've got to do this process very carefully, neutralizing it. Okay, and we do that by measuring out an exact volume of the acid. Okay, adding a very small amount of indicator, add your base to that acid until it's just the point where it neutralizes. So you've used exactly the right amount of ammonia, exactly the right hydrochloric acid. When you do that, you make your salt. Okay, first time around you do it, you've got your indicator in there. So you repeat the entire process, okay, with your known volumes, with no indicator in this time. You're then left with uh, a solution of your salt, okay, which you then stick over some heat, evaporate off all the water, and you're left with your nice solid sample of your salt, okay, in this case, ammonium chloride.